Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to System DLL Tech. In today's video, let's look at how to fix missing msvcr 100.dll error on your Windows PC. Now you might have noticed this error pop up when you're trying to launch an application or a game. But don't worry, there are several ways to fix this and we are going to be looking at each method in detail in this video. For the first method, open your browser and go to this link. You should be able to find this link in the description of this video. Scroll down to the download section and download one version of 32 and 64 bit DLL file. Once these files are downloaded, you need to extract the zip files. Then open C folder and then the Windows folder. Scroll down and see if you can find two folders, System32 and Syswav64 folder. Copy the 32-bit file and right click on the Syswav64 folder and then paste it. Similarly, copy the 64-bit file, right click on System32 folder and paste it. However, if you have a 32-bit Windows PC, you will not be able to see the Syswav64 folder. In that case, just copy the 32-bit file and paste it in the System32 folder. Once that is done, restart your PC and try to launch the application or game again to see if the deal error is fixed. For the next method, you can download and install Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. Now the MSVCR100 DLL file comes with the installation of 2010 package. So you can install that package first to see if the DLL error is getting fixed. Now to do this, open your browser and go to this link. Select your language and then click on download. Then check the x86 and x64 exe file checkboxes and then select next. Download both the files. Once these files are downloaded, you need to install both the files. Select run as administrator. Since the installation is already there, I'll just be repairing the previous installation then select finish similarly open the other file as well select run as administrator and again in case you see a repair that means you already have the installation so you can just select repair and then proceed once that is done I would suggest you to restart your PC and then try to launch the application again to see if the DLL error is getting fixed and in case this version did not solve the error, then I would recommend you to install a couple of other VC++ redistributable versions as well. And you can check all the versions that I would recommend in the description of this video. Now, if you are a Windows 7, 8, 10 or 11 user, then you have the SFC utility tool come by default during Windows installation. Now, this SFC scan will basically inspect all important system files on your PC including the DLL files and replace them or fix them if there are any issues. Now to start with the SFC scan, go to the search area of your taskbar and type CMD. You need to select run as administrator, select yes. Now you need to type in this command. Now that the SFC scan is complete, as you can see here, corrupt files were found and they were successfully repaired. To find more information, you can navigate to this path to find the log file which will have the details of the entire scan. Then you need to close this window, restart your PC and then try to run the application again to see if the DLL error is fixed. If the SFC scan did not fix the missing DLL error, then you can try running the DISM check next. So DISM check basically is an alternative to Windows OS reinstallation. It just checks for the core files that require upgrades or repairs and it adds them or fixes them accordingly. Now to run the DISM check, you basically need to execute three commands on your command prompt. So these are the three 
uh, commands that need to be executed and in the same order that is displayed here. So I'll just copy paste the command into command prompt and execute them. So the scan health command basically takes a while and just wait patiently till it's complete. Next execute the last command restore health. Now that the DISM check is complete you can close this window, restart your PC and then try to run the application again to see if the DLL error is fixed. If none of the previous methods work, you can try running Windows Update to see if that fixes the missing DLL error. Now to update Windows OS, click on the search area of the taskbar and type settings. Click on the first result, click on Windows Update and then click on this check for updates. This will take a while and it will find out if there are any updates available for your Windows OS. In my PC there are no updates available, however in your PC if there are any updates available, Windows will automatically install them. And once installation is complete, you need to restart your PC and then try running the application again to see if the missing DLL error is getting fixed. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Hope the content shared in this video was useful for you. If you did find any of the methods to actually work for you, don't hesitate to like this video and share it with your friends. And also subscribe to my channel for more such content. Until next time, thank you and bye bye.